Hello everyone, Dhrujit here from ayushri.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can easily edit WooCommerce product page template by using Elementor Pro. So as you can see here, that is my single product page template. It's really looking below average. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create this kind of professional single product page template by using Elementor Page Builder. Obviously, I am going to use Elementor Page Builder Pro version. Don't worry, I will give the download link of the Elementor Pro version in the video description. From there, you can get Elementor Pro in free of cost. And that is totally GPL license, so you can use that Elementor Pro without any worry in your website. So without wasting time, let me give you a brief review about the single product page template, what I am going to create in this video tutorial. So as you can see, at the left hand side, here is the product feature image. And in the downside, here you can see the product gallery image also. And when you hover on that, as you can see here, there is some zoom effect. After that, come back to the right hand side. At the top here, you can see the background. After that, product title. Next, here you can see the star rating. And how many review the product got. Here you can see that. After that, here you can see the product rate. Product SQ. SQ means stock keeping unit. After that, here you can see the product categories. Product tags. After that, here you can see the product sort description. Next, here you can see the variable of the product. From this drop down, you can select the product variable. And once you changing the product variable, as you can see, the image also gets changed here. After that, here you can see the product rate again. After that, how many product in stock you can see here. Next, here you can see a quantity slider. I mean, how many product you want to buy, you can select here. And after that, here you can see the add to cart option. Next, in the downside, here you can see the product information tab, that content description, additional information, and review. After that, in the downside, here you can see some upsell products, and here you can see some related products also. So now let me come back to the website, and from there, let me come back to the dashboard again. So as you can see here, I already installed the WooCommerce. Now come back to the plugin, and after that, I have to click in the add new option. From there, you have to search for the Elementor. So as you can see here, Elementor Page Builder, you have to install and activate that plugin i already do that and after that you have to download the pro version of the elementor from elementor.com let me open the elementor.com come back to the pricing so as you can see here the cost is little bit higher so don't worry about that just pause the video and go to the video description there will get a download link by clicking on that link you can download the elementor pro version in free of cost and that is totally gpl license as i already tell you so you can easily use that Elementor Pro plugin in your website. Next, let me come back to the dashboard again. So now let me teach you how you can install the Elementor Pro plugin. After you download the plugin, you have to come back to the plugin and from there you have to click in the add new option. Next, you have to click in the upload plugin. From there you have to click in the choose file. So that is my Elementor Pro plugin, Elementor Pro by OABCO tips. Select that and after that you have to click in the open option. Next, you have to click in the install now. So as you can see here, installation in progress. After that you have to click in the activate plugin option. So as you can see here, my Elementor Pro already activated. Now I have to create the products. So for that I have to click in the products option. As you can see, I already create so many products, but for you, Again, I am going to create another product. For creating the product, you have to click in the add new option again. After that, here actually you have to enter your product name. I am giving the product name as short party test 2. Next, here actually I have to enter the description. So, let me write some dummy text in the description. And here actually I already created the product category. If you want to add new category, always you can click in this add new category and after that you can enter the category name. Suppose this product belongs to the women's dress. So, I am selecting women's dress and the sub category will be party dress. Next, the product is a simple product or a variable product. First of all, I am going to create a simple product. Then I will convert this product to a variable product. So, let me Keep it simple product only and after that here you have to enter the product rate. Suppose the product rate is 300 USD and the sale price is 250 USD. After that I have to click in the inventory option. So here actually I have to enter the SQ. SQ stands for the stock keeping unit. Let me enter a dummy SQ and after that if you want to manage the stock then you can enable this option. Suppose you have total 60 product in stock. So here I am writing 60 and after that directly come back to the shipping option. So here actually you have to enter your product weight. Suppose I am entering 250 gram and after that, here actually you have to enter product dimension. Let me enter some dummy dimension. And after that, I have to come back to the linked product. So here you can see the upsell product. Upsell product is nothing but actually this product. So what I have to do for adding the product, just come back here. And here actually you have to enter product name. What you want to link with this. Like I'm typing modern, it will automatically search the product name. So as you can see here, it's automatically search the product name. Similarly, let me add some more product. Once we add all the upsell product, after that, scroll down a little bit so here you can see the product sort description so i'm writing the product sort description like that if you want to add in them as a list order then select everything and after that you have to click in this so now as you can see everything in list order so after that here you can see the product tag tag suppose i am writing as dress next i have to add the product image so for that i have to click in the 
set product image from the media library suppose i am taking this image and after that i have to click in the set product image option so now i have to add the product gallery image so for that i have to click in this add product gallery image and from the media library suppose i am taking this image this image and this image by pressing control key in your keyboard you can at a time select multiple images and after that i have to click in the add to gallery of next i have to scroll up and after that you have to click in the publish option. so in this way you can create a simple product so now i have to design a product page template by using elementor page builder so for that i have to hover on the template and next i have to click in the theme builder option and for your kind information i already created dedicated video tutorial how to create the soft page template by using elementor pro i'll give the link in the video description else in the top right corner here you can see the i button here also by clicking in this i button you can get the video link so after that what i have to do i have to click in this single product option click in this as you can see here no template found so i have to click in this add new option so as you can see here my elementor page builder interface is loading now as i'm using elementor page builder pro version by default it's offering some pre-built single product page template if you like them just hover on that and after that you have to click in the insert option but in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to create single product page template from scratch so let me close this and after that this interface will open so from there as you can see here my top portion divided in two columns one is for this image and another for this text. So for that, I'm clicking the plus option and I'm taking single row and two column. Next, I have to click in the edit option for the first column. Here you can see the column width. Let me make it 45. And after that, I have to click in the plus option. So in the top here, you can see so many product widgets are showing here. So first of all, drag and drop the product image here. Okay, it's coming perfectly. Next, what I have to do? Click in this plus option here. First of all, I need the background. So here you can see the WooCommerce background. Just drag and drop it here. Next, again, I have to click in this option. I mean this nine dot. After that, I need the star rating. So here you can see the product rating. Just drag and drop it here. Next, I need the product title. So here you can see the product title. Just drag and drop it here downside like that. After that, again, I have to click in this nine dot. So from there, I need the product price. Just drag and drop it downside. Again, I have to click in this nine dot. After that, I need the product meta. So drag and drop it here like that. After that, I need the short description. Again, I have to click in the nine dot. And here you can see the short description. Similarly, I have to drag and drop it here like that. Again, I have to click in this. After that, I need the add to cart option. So here you can see the add to cart option. Similarly, drag and drop it here like that. I'll customize them later. So don't worry about that. Now again, scroll down a little bit. Click in the plus option. First of all, I need this description, Alice Learn information tab. So for that, I have to take a single row and single column. First of all, let me click in this because I need some margin top and bottom side around 50 pixel. Again, I have to click in the plus option. So here you can see the product data tabs. Just drag and drop it here like that. After that, again, I have to click in the plus option. Similarly, I am taking single row and single column. So as you can see here, after that, I need this upsell product. So for that, again, I have to click in this plus option. So here you can see the upsell. Just drag and drop it here like that. Again, I have to click in the plus option. And after that, I have to take single row and single column. Next, again, I have to click in this. From there, I have to come back to the advanced option. Margin top and bottom, I am taking around 50 pixel. Click in this plus option and here i need the related product so here you can see the product related just drag and drop it here like that so next the scroll up this product does not have any star rating so it's not displaying properly leave it as it is because if some product have star rating it will automatically display just what you have to do you have to click in this and here you can see the star color you have to make it yellow color and in this link color i am taking this blue color come back to the advanced option unlock the padding padding top i am taking around 20 pixel Padding bottom also I'm taking around 20 pixel. Next, I have to click in this product title option. So from here, if you want to change the typography, always you can do that. Let me come back to the style option. Text color. I don't want the deep black color. Let me take some light black color like this one. And from the typography, always you can change the size and font family, etc. But it's a dummy website, so I'm keeping them as it is. Next, come back to the product price option. Next, click in the edit option for the product price. From here, I have to change the color for the original rate. Suppose I'm taking this color. And after that, for the sale price, let me take the orange color i think that is the perfect next let me click in the typography and let me increase the font size a little bit i think that's looking cool now i have to click in the edit option for the product meta so from that here you can see the view option make it table space between let me make it eight next i have to enable the divider from there weight i am taking one and width make it percent and make it around 60 after that color click in this let me decrease the opposite a little bit i think that's perfect and after that scroll down come back to the caption directly so from there at the place of the SUK, if you want to write something, you can wrote. Similarly for the tag. So here actually for the singular, you have to write tag. And in the plural, you have to write tag. I am keeping the default only. Next, directly come back to the product short description option. Click in this edit option for the product short description. And from there, first of all, come back to the advanced option. Unlock the margin. Margin top, let me take around 
20 margin bottom also let me take around 20 so actually here nothing to edit from here you can easily change the text color after that alignment and in the typography you can change the front family front size etc but i am keeping them as it is next directly come back to the add to cut option so in the add to cut option layout i have to make it auto after that come back to the button as you can see in my demo website this button is blue color so for changing the color of the button here you can see the text color first of all let me make it white color and the background let me take this blue color next click in the quantity in the quantity text color i am making it black color so as you can see here it's coming black color as you can see in the one text it's coming in the black color now directly come back to the variation in the variation width let me take around 60 spacing i am taking around 9 space between i am taking around 10 after the label color i am taking this color next select field the color i am choosing black color and here you can see the border radius let me make it 7 it is not displaying because it's a simple product if i make a variable product then you can see all the changes to making this product as a variable product first of all let me come back to the dashboard so from there let me click in the product so suppose that is my product let me click on that from there the scroll down a little bit so here you can see the by default it will be simple product from here i have to make it variable product after making variable product directly come back to the attribute option so from there i have to add the attribute first of all let me adding the color attribute after that i have to click in the add option if you don't know how to create this attribute and values as you can see here i already created the color attribute and so many value if you don't know then you can ask me in the comment section i will make a dedicated video for that so from there you have to select both of the checkboxes and let me take another value like orange after that i have to click in the save attribute similarly again i have to click in this and from there suppose i am taking the size attribute and click in the add option and from here suppose i am choosing m and l after that i have to check both of the checkboxes and let me click in the save attribute option next i have to click in the variation from this drop down i have to choose this one create variation from all attribute and after that i have to click in the go option you have to click in the ok after some time you can see another pop-up will appear that four variation already added click in the ok option so as you can see here already four variation added click in this after that i have to click in this for adding the image suppose i'm taking this image click in the set variation image and the date suppose i'm taking around 250 and the sale rate supposed to 40 next come back to this one i mean black color and medium size let me take the same image click in the set variation image and the rate suppose i'm taking around 230 and the sale rate is 220 next orange color and large size for that suppose i am taking this image click in the set variation image and after the rate suppose i am giving 230 no sale is going on and for the orange color and medium suppose i am taking this image click in the set variation image and after that the rate suppose i am giving around 270 after that i have to click in the save changes scroll up and after that what i have to do whatever the image you set as a feature image as you can see i set this one as a feature image and here for this orange color and large i add exact same image as feature image here you can see the default value from here i have to choose orange as you can see there is the orange and the size is the large so from here i have to choose large so whatever the feature image you set and in which combination you add that image both will be the same next you have to scroll up and after that you have to click in the update option so in this way you can convert a simple product to a variable product if you want a detailed video about that how to convert a simple product to a variable product then you can ask me in the comment section i'll definitely help you so now let me come back here let me click in the publish option so it's asking the condition let me click in the add condition and make sure it should be product after that you have to click in the save and close so as you can see here it's already updated now let me refresh the page once so now as you can see this variation are displaying here now scroll down click in the edit option for the product data tabs from here here you can see the background color let me make it white color after that if you want to change the text color always you can do that suppose i am choosing this blue color and from here actually you can change the active text color also but here i am keeping them as it is next directly scroll down click in this edit option for the upsell product and make sure it should be 4 for the tablet it will be 3 and for the mobile devices let me make it 2 click in the update option after that let me switch back to the desktop preview now let me click in the edit option for the related products here no need to change anything keep them as it is so now from the shop page let me open any product suppose i am opening this product so as you can see everything is coming perfectly even the related product is also coming perfectly suppose i am opening this product let me click on that here also can see everything is coming perfectly even the description additional information even the review tab also coming perfectly even here you can see the upsell product and related product also displaying perfectly and here you can see one sell batch suppose i don't want the sell batch here so for that i have to click in this and here you can see the sell plus just disable that 
Similarly, let me come back here, click in this, come back to the style option, scroll down, so here you can see the cell flash, enable that, and after that, suppose I want to adjust the cell height little bit, so here you can see the height, let me make it around 50, so as you can see here, now it's displaying properly, even if you want to change the background color, always you can do that also, so for that what I have to do, suppose I am taking this color as a background color, so as you can see the color gets changed, even similarly for the related product also, you have to click in the edit option, next you have to come back to the style option, and in the style you have to scroll down and here you can see the cell flash option so from here if you don't want you can disable that else if you want you can enable that and after that you can adjust the height and everything after that let me click in the update option so now let me check the mobile devices preview for this for that let me click in the inspect element option so as you can see here it's coming perfectly i'm ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section if you really like this video then please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification from my youtube channel Thank you. Have a nice day.